<laughs> the bubonic plague. It has killed over 100 million people over the course of history. But it was considered to be a concern of the past, right? Well, here's one of two reported in the last six weeks. For the last two months, 59-year-old Paul Gaylord has been full of medical tubes as he lay motionless in a hospital bed. He's been fighting a rare illness, the plague. See you later. But now he's allowed to head home. I feel pretty good. I'm gonna go on and do the best I can. Within the next few weeks, he'll have his blackened toes and fingers amputated, a side effect of the disease. As the recovery process continues, he's very thankful for those who saved his life. And we've all heard of the bubonic plague. It's been known as the Black Death. Killed a third of Europeans at one point in time. We learn about this in med school, but none of us have ever seen this. I mean, I'm shocked to hear about these cases yeah. now. But it is a bacteria, and the reason that largely we haven't had to deal with it lately is because it can be treated. Mm -hmm. um, but... Back in the day, it was deadly, and as Paul's cases has shown, can still wreak havoc. And, and Paul should be okay, obviously, serious operations and things of that mm -hmm. nature, but it also has inflicted a young Yeah, young the, the second case they found was a seven-year-old girl that was admitted to a Denver hospital after a camping trip in southern Colorado. And she contracted it there by, she found a dead squirrel, felt bad and wanted to bury the thing. That's a no-no, you know, because yeah. you can catch this from uh, either getting bit by an infected flea or rodent mm -hmm. or cats sometimes, and that's just a big no-no to, to touch right. those things. And you, you don't know what killed them. That mm -hmm. might have right. killed them, and then it passes on. So, mm -hmm. you know, you shouldn't and, catch And then catch symptoms them. will usually, once you, after your bit, within a, uh, maybe two to six days, you'll start getting these, these vague symptoms, like this other disease we talked about earlier. You know, it could just be uh, feeling sick or feeling bad, tired, fatigue, some fever. You don't really know what it is until you get the classic sign of the plague is what's called a bubo. It's a, a large swollen lymph gland, either in the neck or the armpit or in the groin sometimes. And mm -hmm. that's when the doctors will start to key in, ooh, this might be the plague. Yeah, without that, you would, yeah. on yeah. physical exam, you know, this could be yeah. any other illness. Mm -hmm. If you, God forbid, are having these big buboes and you have these other symptoms, you need to seek attention because without treatment, the death rate is over 50%. Yeah. IV fluids, antibiotics, right. Paul's lucky measures. to be alive. He is. Oh, yeah. But the good news is th these are two, as far as we know, isolated cases. Just be aware of it, but don't live in fear of it. And Paul obviously has a long road ahead of him, but luckily has a huge support system. We wish Paul the best.